So here's the outlet where I'm going to be putting in my new switch for the fan. Uh, I'm going to use a three-way switch so that I can have it you know, up for um, just override and down for normal thermostat use. I know people online, they like to have two switches and have a master and a override. But I didn't want to do that because I figured what's the point of turning it off. Probably not going to want that. Anyway, um, so this is the, uh, the switch where I'm going to use it. Uh, this switch right here. Um, there's already some cable running up into the attic. This controls the uh, attic light there. So um, I'll just keep that on the same circuit. Uh, I made sure that everything else that's on this circuit uh, won't, um, the circuit won't be overloaded when I add the fan, which runs at about four amps. So I'll uh, take this plate off and pull out some wires and show you from there. All right, here you see the uh, the uh, switch plate off and some most of the wires pulled out. Um, this is the switch that goes to the attic. This works the uh, the hall light. Um, one important thing to note is that the power is turned off. Um, I guess that's one of those mistakes you'll only make once. I haven't made it, so. Um, but this should turn on the light and it's not doing anything. You don't see any light changing. So power's off, I test it with multimeter. Everything's good. Um, I've been studying the wires, made my own little wiring diagram so I can put this thing back together when I take everything apart. Um, now I just need to get this box out and make the hole a little bigger um, so that I can put in my new box, which is going to be a three gang box because I've got a, another three-way switch that I'm going to use to control the fan. Uh, one of the things that I need to do now, um, this box won't come out by itself because it's nailed into this stud that is right there. Nothing over there. Um, so you just put a just look this up on YouTube. You you get a little hacksaw blade and you try and find the uh, the nail and where it is and where it's uh where it's gouging into the, the stud and you just try to free it up with a hacksaw blade. So I'll get that done and then you can uh, see the finished product when, when the box is out and all the wires are off. And there we go. So there was one nail holding it up here, one nail down there to the first one. Just saw it. I showed you the second one. And now I should be able to take something like this. And now the box will at least cooperate a little more in trying to come out. I'm sure there's some flaps in there. So I'll have to deal with those. Um, so I'll show this to you once it's out. So I've got all the wires unhooked. It's a big mess, but I've got, like I said, my little wiring diagram to help me through it. Um, this box doesn't want to come out very easily. So I know I'm going to have to make my hole bigger for my new box, so I'm just going to cut that out right now. So now we've got all the wires out of the box. The box fought and fought, but I won. And we've got everything labeled. We've got each of these wires labeled, so I don't need to try to keep them in a specific spot. But, um, now I'm going to run the the uh, the wire from the attic down into here. I already drilled the hole, but I just need to run that run that down, grab it out, and uh, I'll uh, update it from there when I when I get to it. All right, so I'm up in the attic. Um, I drilled this hole here. You can see where some of the other uh, wires are going down into the wall. And if I just move back here, you can see that that's where the light switch is. So I just drilled a second hole over here to the right, and I'm just going to feed my 12-3 uh, wire um, down through the hole, and hopefully wire up that switch, and then the uh, the balance of the wire can move over there to the attic fan, and hopefully I'll have this up and running in a little bit. So I've got my wiring in place and my new box, and it was a pain. This one fought as well. Um, you can see up here I've got my new uh, yellow 12-3 Romex, and got the uh, the other things all in place, basically where they were before. So now I'll just wire them back up together, including the wiring for the fan and the new switch into the circuit. 
All right, I'm back from all my wiring extravaganza. You can see the rat's nest of wires, but they should all be hooked up correctly. Um, only time will tell. Uh, but I got my my new switch here. It's wired up to the most of the yellow wires and hooking into the power, the hot black wire. Uh, anyway, now I need to go to the other end of that yellow uh, cable, the, the Romex, and hook that up to my fan, which is up in the attic. So I'll get to that and show you what that looks like. All right, so I've got the wire uh, snaked up to the fan, and I already um, installed the wiring uh, to the fan motor as per the instructions of the manufacturer for using the bypass switch option. But I got it underneath some of these boards. It goes down here, it's underneath there. You can see that. But then I drilled a hole down there through one of the uh, base plates and snaking it up here. Drilled another hole through there and wired up to the motor. Um, the instructions for the from the manufacturer made it pretty easy to um, get the bypass switch installed and the thermostat controls it and right now I'm stuffing all the switches back in the box spoiler alert I already tested it um, but everything works thankfully that's why I'm putting the switches back in the box if, if it didn't work I wouldn't start doing that <laughs> uh, so in a minute I'll just show you how it works that uh, loud noise is the fan working everything was hooked up correctly Miraculously, um, but it wasn't too difficult. Just uh, make sure you make a good diagram of where all your wires go when you start it, and uh, hook up your your wires into the proper places when you're finishing up. So this one has a thermostat on it, so right now it's about 120 degrees in here. So if I turn this down, thermostat controls it, and so it just turns it off. Um, but with that three-way switch we've got, I will show you how that works. So right now the three-way switch works such that the thermostat is being controlled when it's in the down position. And I will climb down here, probably cut this out. So now we're down to the switch, and it's in the down position, so it's being thermostat controlled. If I flip it up, you can hear that. Fan turned on, that's the bypass. So it's either thermostat controlled or the bypass, and everyone's happy. So um, that's the uh, the installation of the attic fan. Uh, I don't think there's too much else I have to do except for cleanup. So thanks for watching.